Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting was forwarded to the official township newspapers, posted on the bulletin board and township website on November 3rd, 2022. This meeting is being videotaped and will be on channel now. Roll call. Mr. Doyle? Here. Mrs. Swain? Here. Mr. Keene? Here. Mr. Marsh? Here. Mayor Bruno? Here. Your motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 18.3, amending Ordinance 9, 2013, and the Code of the Town of Franklin to address safe traffic control for construction, repair, and maintenance of streets and highways and third parties, police department, and overtime, respecting both traffic and non traffic needs. Open hearing for 018.3. Second. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> I get a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance 18.3. Motion to close 18.3. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I get a motion to adopt ordinance 18.3. Motion to adopt 18. Second. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Flame? Yes. Mr. Keene? Yes. Mr. Marsh? Yes. Mayor Brigham? Yes. I get a motion to open the first public portion for resolutions and ordinances. You can go to the first public portion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any motion to close the first public portion? Any motion to close the first public portion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any motion to approve correspondence and reports? Any motion to approve the correspondence and reports? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any motion to approve the minutes from September 26, 2023? Any motion to approve the minutes? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Any motion to approve the bill list? Any motion to approve the bill list? Second. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Swain? Yes. Mr. Keene? Yes. Mr. Marsh? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Any motion to approve resolution 227-23, approving governor's council on alcoholism and drug abuse fiscal year October 2020 to June 2025? <coughs> resolution R227-23. Second. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Swain? Yes. Mr. Keene? Yes. Mr. Marsh? Yes. Mayor Brayman? Yes. Any motion to approve resolution 22823, authorizing the mayor to sign Grant agreements for the acquisition of development easements from the properties under the Farmland mm -hmm. Preservation Program. Make motion for R 22823. Second. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Swain? Yes. Mr. Keene? Yes. Mr. Marsh? Yes. Mayor Brennan? Yes. I get a motion to open the second public portion for any comments. Make a motion to open the second public portion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Sean Anuzi. Um I'm from Boy Scout Troop 21 right here in Franklin, New Jersey. Um, we're the township's um, Boy Scout Troop and I'm the senior patrol leader of that troop and I'm here today to ask approval for my um, Eagle Scout project um, here in township. Um, so my Eagle Scout project, my idea was to, I own a lake um, I always drive past there to go to Lake Callis and all that stuff, and I always see people fishing out there and just hanging out. And I was thinking um, maybe some benches and picnic benches would be good and to help serve the community. If they want to sit down, they can hang out a little bit while fishing, and it'll help bring more attention to that little beach right there with some benches and picnic benches. Now, the Eagle Scout project, it's not just going out and building something like a bench or anything. It's more about leading and raising money and raising materials for your project. So as this project, I wouldn't just go out by myself and lead it and build it. I would get a group of people 
Um, I have many people in my family. I have many friends who are carpenters, engineers, uh, fi fi uh, firefighters in uh, neighboring towns who I will lead and help me build. They will help me build the bench and the picnic benches and the uh, yeah benches. And that's the main thing about the Eagle Scout project is you need to grow as a person and be able to lead other people to do one goal. And in my case, this one goal is to build some benches and picnic benches. Um, the materials will come from, I can't just put out my own money or my family's money to get these materials. I have to ra either raise money from people to get these materials or go out actually to Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store to get materials for this uh, project. And thankfully, um, these stores have been like very lenient on being on donating materials. In this case, I need wood, screws, all all that stuff to help build the benches. Um, Troop Twenty One, uh, we volunteered at many township events. Um, we do the Christmas event every year at the Franklin Little Lake Beach. Uh, we're at Franklin Little Day every year, and we're always looking to help out um, in the township and past Eagle Scout projects that have been done is at Malaga Lake Park, the hiking trails there, there are benches along the trails. That was an Eagle Scout project by one of our scouts many years ago. So some other stuff that has been done in the township by Troop 21. And like I'm just asking for approval for my Eagle Scout project and by Iona Lake to build benches and picnic benches. It, there should be at least uh, acknowledgement that, that we're aware and it's going to proceed and, and there should be someone designated um, for Sean to communicate with so he understands our parameters not always the same as in the private sector so if somebody internally is his point of contact um, just to understand the, the additional uh, red tape that we as a government <coughs> entity face so yeah, we should we should acknowledge that one. It should be part of the minutes. We were aware he's proceeding. It should be directed to someone. And he's he's been coordinating with me and Mr. Nicholson from DPW. So once once he's ready to start the project, we'll make sure everything is there. And if there's anything we can do to assist him, we will. And then you know monitor the project from there. We just need to basically the motion. Yeah, I I would say yes, sir. yes, ma'am. So make motion to approve the uh, Eagle Scout project for picnic benches and a picnic table and a bench. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um so my goal I would just wanted to get it approved first and then actually when I go home I'm gonna start I've had some friends in the past who have gotten materials donated for similar reasons from Home Depot. So I'm going to contact Home Depot. And right after this, I just wanted to get it approved. And then I will. It'll be Troop 21. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I was wondering if there was any resolution regarding the court case with the J. C. Pools. No. 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 Was yeah, there was a <laughs> status conference today, and it's been relisted for uh, another conference between the parties on November thirteenth. Um, is there any reason why it had to be relisted? Why they couldn't resolve it? Well, I. It was, I, it, it was scheduled for, for a status conference uh, following up on the, the application at the board. So right. It wasn't, wasn't 
I don't think there was any expectation that it would be resolved at today's conference. Seems a little odd. I mean, they've been turned down twice by the zoning board. I can't see how a court could overrule the zoning board without making precedents that would overturn the rights of zoning boards throughout the entire state of New Jersey. Uh, this would be catastrophic for every town. I wanted to ask the members of the Township Committee how much time they have spent actually on the neighboring properties to see what it is like during the day to live near this. Can each one of you tell me how much time you've spent? Since this, this started before I got here, there's nothing I'm aware of the town being done differently. We call the state, the pine lanes, DOT. I, I understand that. That's not my question. <coughs> so standing next door doesn't do anything either. Well, it would give you some more empathy and understanding of what these people are dealing with. I mean, have any of you spent well, we're, Mayor, Tom? we're actively litigating this. I mean, we, we, we are we are in court, and uh, you know they, there are there are opposing parties, and there's discovery to be to be completed, and we really can't can't litigate it here tonight. Oh, we are actively defending question. and and pursuing the, those concerns. Okay, so they can't mention whether they've spent any time no, at the I, I just don't think it's wise to have a a, a, a discussion of the merits of our case when we're in the middle of litigation. Okay. We are actively, we're, we're back in court in four weeks. All right, let me change the subject then so you don't have to go on. Um, Piney Hollow, where are we with getting that up for bids? I don't see anything on the agenda for that and I believe we have the approval of the Pinelands to go forward, yes? We do have Pinelands. Uh, the last CME was waiting. They had to submit some more stuff to the DEP as far as estimated construction costs and timelines and we're waiting back for approval from that. Ed was supposed to meet with me and Brian today, but he was actually called for jury duty, so we rescheduled that for Thursday. Okay, so you anticipate soon? Yes. Okay, well, that would be wonderful. Also, I wanted to say something to the Eagle Scouts. If they um, need projects, the Environmental Commission is a good place to look. Uh, there's ongoing work that's going to be started on Piney Hollow. And part of the grant for Piney Hollow, and I believe you were probably aware of this um, at the township level, is that there should be some volunteers, you know, to help offset the cost of the park improvements. And no one would be better than the Eagle Scouts. The wonderful work they did at Malaga Lake Park with the benches there is just amazing. And Piney Hollow could use that as well. So um, please think consider that for another eagle scout i've got another one next year so okay. be back. <laughs> that would be wonderful because that place can always use some help and john stippick is the chairperson and um, you can call town hall to get his contact information and he would welcome that he's a wonderful guy to work with thank you good evening Good evening, Bob Stammeyer, 738 William Third. Uh, Mayor, last year I came before the board, it was Dave Deegan. He told me last year he's gonna be getting my dad's plaque redone, as you're aware, down in the line of duty at Forest Grove back in 99. Mr. Marsh probably remembers it. Um, the plaque hasn't been redone yet, it hasn't even been touched. Still sitting there. Tell, tell me that again. The plaque at the community center for my dad. This place has been redone. Uh, Mr. Deegan said last year, Back in October, it'll be done and still sitting there, not touched. Okay. And also, uh, I don't know if this be a question for the chief. Bain and Weymouth is getting bad. There's, I think there was two or three accidents there this week, in the last week alone. I mean, I know they're in negotiations with the county or talking to the county about making out a four way because people are getting crazy there. Flashing There's a flashing light, but I mean, people still. Uh, I think that if um, <laughs> there is to be any consideration, that's got to be um, some sort of communication from the township to the county because it is a county privilege. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm assuming they're going to want to do some sort of traffic study and everything like that. So um, it's certainly something I can look into, see how many crashes we've had there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's at least, I think there was two or three of them last week alone. Okay. I mean, I'll pull some numbers and see where we're at with that. 
Yeah, because it's... It's me and I'll call Okay. All right. Thank you. Dave Marshall, 67, New Road. Uh, through social media, I noticed that it says we are not or no longer performing notaries in the uh, through the municipal office. Is that correct? Correct. Is there a reason why we're not? I know there was a complaint the last meeting, but I'm just curious. Right, but there's no justification for it. I'm just asking, you know, I mean, because it's been there for well longer than I've been around that I know of. All right, so I, I get a, at least under the township administrator's position, it states that we're supposed to handle any complaints, concerns, suggestions, and make sure they are addressed. How is just turning something off addressed? If there were actual issues, and again, I'm mean, only going to be what one individual, one resident was saying, but if there were actual issues that went on, and if any of those had any validity, we're not trying to address them and fix them and make it better, instead of just saying, no, we're not going to do it. No, you don't. I understand that, but I always look at it, you know, from a business standpoint, where the more value you offer a resident, the better. All right. I want to talk a little bit about the number four. There's a couple references. I want to do this, and then I'll, I'll leave it with a comment at the end. Number four has a lot of references in, in different things, and just to give you some examples. The number four is mentioned 226 times in the Bible. In numerology, it's mentioned where it means conscientiousness, strength, responsibility, and stability. Which I don't follow that side of numerology a lot, but it's just it still stands pretty sharp. You know the, what number four stands for. Uh, it's mentioned really strongly in Isaiah and Revelations in the Bible. It's commonly referenced that four walls make a house. Obviously, you, you can do it in other ways, but it's that's the, the basic reference. I mean, of course, one of the most famous statings with four is four score and seven years ago. You know, there's, there's a lot of reference that way. It also only takes four members of this committee in the event that there's a decision, either this or maybe the next guard as it changes, to make a difference of a change of an employee that possibly isn't holding up his end of the deal or, his, or her end of the deal. Uh, you've seen a lot. I'm not going to bring up a lot of the stuff in the past, but, I mean, you've seen what's going on since last November with some of the things, and it's just something to consider. Uh, look into it. I, I'm not going to get into rehashing them. I mean, it's something that should be, be done in-house without me having to bring it up publicly, and it, maybe it's already being discussed. Uh, but just, I always look for the best people in the township, and if somebody doesn't seem to be representing that, I just want to speak my mind. And there's a, a proverb about it that kind of springs to mind, where the forest was shrinking, but the trees kept voting for the axe. For the axe handle was made of wood. So the axe was clever and had convinced the forest that he was one of them, as he slowly gave them their demise. So we've got a lot of things in this township, again, that I've talked about from the beginning that can be fixed. Maybe it's time to start considering some of them. Thank you. Harry Kennedy, 1578 Fries Mill Road. <clears throat> a lot of good things happen in this township, and a lot of good people serve on that township committee. Mike, that was very nice of you to volunteer to help tonight. I know not only do you do that, but as a former policeman and a volunteer golf coach and a, a policeman in a local school system, it's nice to see. Thank you. It was great to see an Eagle Scout come out tonight. Heather, I know what you've done with your work with track and so many other things in Franklin Township at all times. Jake, uh, your fundraiser this weekend, your golf tournament, you're always there. You've done a good job. Jonathan, I trust you to always do the right thing. For some reason, I just have that expectation. Uh, by the way, I, I know this is going to come as a shock to all of you sitting up there. Maybe not to all of you, but, you know, you run the township. The five of you make the decisions. The five of you decide what the policy will be in town hall. The five of you decide what services will be provided. I can remember working at the Delaware River Port Authority, and uh, I had many departments under me, Jake. Uh, one was customer service. 
And I had one of the guys that worked in public information say to me, you know what? The worst thing in life is a loud mouth that's right. Probably is the worst thing in life, a loud mouth that's right. Because they keep coming back and keep pointing out the same thing over and over again. You have two bureaucrats in town hall that get paid a quarter of a million dollars to do their job. That's a lot of money. Uh, they get paid more than their counterparts virtually anywhere else in the county. And in the case of the clerk, more than the county clerk gets paid. There's a service that's provided. You know what? Every year I hear bitching about the leaf collection. Damn leaves weren't picked up on time. Damn leaves weren't picked up. Where are they coming? You know what? You didn't discontinue the leaf collection. You don't have to have it. You didn't discontinue it. You know what? Joe Schmo, the cop, gave me a ticket. That bastard was parked out there looking for me, and he got me. You haven't entered your police department because somebody complained. You know what? The Oprahs weren't complete. You haven't ended your Oprah problems because somebody didn't comply. You don't have to provide every service that's necessary to the residents of Franklin Township, but you damn well should provide what you can provide at no cost and no pain to you, to the residents. Because somebody gets in a snit because he was criticized for the way things were handled is not a good reason to discontinue any service. You are there to serve the residents of Franklin Township, and most of you try to do it. Most of you try to do it very well, but not everybody does. Some people think they're entitled. Some people think because they're a big bureaucratic show-off, they can tell people what to do and to go to hell if they want to. That's not the way it works. We're here to serve the residents. It's great to have a town in which 99% of the people are really nice and serve the residents. The Recreation Commission, great people. Most of the people on Township Committee, the majority of you without question, honest and earnest in trying to provide services. An Eagle Scout coming out tonight to help the town to try to provide benches and getting a response from up there that anybody would do whatever they could to help them. You know what? It's nice to see nice people. It's nice to see competent people. It's nice to see the services provided that the residents need. Why don't you take a survey of every town hall in Gloucester County and find out how many of them provide notary service? My, my. I'll bet you it's virtually every one of them. And you know what? When somebody comes in and says, damn it, the building inspector didn't do a good job. You're not going to get, stop having building services and building inspectors. Or my tax abatement didn't get served within the time I did it. Or the property changed hands and, geez, I'm not the owner. I'm not a contractor. Where's my tax abatement? Well, that only applies to one or two, but you're not going to end the service. You don't end the service because an overpaid bureaucrat gets in a snit. You calm them down. You say, provide the services, do what is right, stand up and do what's right, and count to four if you have to. Thanks a lot. Any motion to uh, close the second public portion? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Let me move forward. Marsh? I don't know. 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 I don't I want to recognize Larry Holcroft for being the officer of the month. I also want to honor, um, in lieu of last night being the first responder night, I'd like to thank all our first responders in Franklinville for all they do and keeping us safe. <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, BDC was canceled. Um, I've been unable to attend the environmental meeting, so I do apologize uh, for my absences, but um, has the environment review plan for grant spending yet? Yeah, I know that, that was one of the items that we wanted to have environmental look at. Not that I'm aware of, no, because we have not designated any of the grant funds for anything specific yet. Okay. Um, I know that last time I was here, so forgive me if this was already 
you know, prepared or got through, Mr. Finley, you say that Mr. Lyons was reviewing a template for the weekly report. Um, where are we at with that? It'll be coming out this week. Excellent. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so the status of going to bid for the communications equipment is that where we have that? We're, we're back refreshing them because we also had to add in that the, the courts having an issue with their recording system, so we've added that into the entire thing for, the, for this room and all that. So it's all going out. We just got the bids in today, actually, from two of the manufacturers. Okay, do you think we had to adjust it then? How's that on budget? It'll be fine because we, we put it into the capital expenditure, so. Okay. Um, thank you. So communications will meet tomorrow, so we're going to redo the website still. Um, for those of you who haven't noticed, we've adopted a new procedure for cancel meetings and implemented that on the website. Um, Mr. Pilling, do you have a list of contacts of all the chairs, like their email, like the addresses? Mm -hmm. Can you provide that to Mr. Mars through the communications? Yes. Okay, so just a note for the chairs of the committees, we want to have your feedback on your websites. I don't see anybody in here right now, but um, just to have feedback on the new website, we want to be able to build that out and put some information that the chairs want to have on, on their part of the website. Uh, one thing we're going to consider is to provide a FAQ or possible section with checklists. So if any of your committees have any kind of like checklists or frequently asked questions or forms, um, I, I know like septic is real big in town for viewing septic, so maybe that's something we should put on the website. Uh, if we have any kind of forms or checklists for that, please um, communicate that to us. I mean, how to put that in the FAQ section. Um, right, that's a pretty interesting thing. Yeah. Well, I have nothing. I have nothing. Oh, I do. I, I want to uh, thank Jack doing senior lunch. Thank you. Doing an outstanding job preparing the, uh, the report. Uh, I think it's really good. Thank you. 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 Pay six bucks. Good. Good. Other than that, I have nothing. So uh, with that, we'll bring your motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye.